<laughs> All right, we're recording, Pat, when you're ready. Okay. Seeing the presence of a quorum, I'm going to call the Governance Organization and Legislation Committee of the Town Council to order at 9.30 um, uh, to make sure everyone can be uh, see and be heard. I'm going to call on each counselor before I read. Pursuant to Chapter 20, Lynn Griesmer. Present. Mandy Jo Haneke. Present. And I'm present. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, extended by Chapter 22 and 107 of the Acts of 2022, and extended by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of, of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. So with that, I'd like to uh, go through the order of um, the agenda about, I'd like us to look at the snow and ice bylaw because we need to make that completely ready for Monday. Uh, I'd like to move after that to the street proposed streetlights policy and then uh, propose changes to the town council policy regarding control blah, blah, of, and regulation of the public ways. Uh, and, a, and I think a review of the parades and public meetings, there's sort of a fitting together there and I included the flag policy in the agenda packet. We're not gonna be looking at regulations relating to animals or local historic districts because nothing has been done about those. Um, and I'm going to get a quick item out of the way. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of May 24th, 2023, and the minutes from the June 7th, 2023 uh, meetings. Second. It, okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. You need, a roll, aye. you need a roll call. Oh, okay. Lynn Griesmer? Yes. Uh, Mandy Joe. Aye. And I'm an I, so that's unanimous. Okay, uh, let's look at snow and ice. And what uh, Pam Rooney had proposed is uh, a change to section B3, where we removed 10 feet and changed it to overgrowth of seven or le feet or less overhanging the sidewalk. And that shall be considered uh, an obstruction. Is there anything else that we need to look at before on this? I'm trying to, I think. I think the 10 feet was two. the major one since seven was, I guess, arbitrary, but uh, I well, think 10, 10 was apparently one. was arbitrary too. So. It is, but yeah. it, it accommodates somebody on a bicycle. Right, yeah. Your hair looks great, Lynn. Thanks, stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Joe looks very serious and she knows. Well, so, um, yeah, I think seven feet would accommodate only pedestrians. Ten feet probably accommodates nearly all cyclists. I'm, I'm thinking back to my trail cutting days. Uh, um, okay. And, and I think 14 is, I, I have like 14 or 15 in my head, but I think that was horse. I think that was a person on a horse, which would make sense. And so bikes are probably, 10 is probably sufficient for bikes. Okay. And if that's what we're going for, I, I think looking at Pam's proposed changes to that, I think, I think that's fine for the purposes of this bylaw, you know, is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or hangs down within 10 feet above the sidewalk. I think that's, that's logical language. Okay. Okay. And uh, okay, now uh, Lynn. I'm fine. You're, yeah, and I'm fine with that as well. Um, so would someone like to make a motion to accept that change and to return this to the council? I, I guess, I, go sorry, ahead. my no, other go ahead. question was, was there anything else? That's what I couldn't remember if there was something else and I apologize for that. Um, but. No, I mean, Kathy had several other questions. 
They were about who um, re was required to clear a sidewalk that belongs to the state and things like that. Right. And, and I don't believe they resulted, the responses didn't result in her having anything she wanted to change, but like. I think that's correct. I'm pulling out my notes. Good, thank you. That doesn't mean they're thorough, but <laughs> it just means. It means you could find them this morning. Oh, yes. Um. Oh my God. Uh, what her question was, what if the sidewalk is in really bad conditions? Right. And Paul answered that by right. saying, yeah. Yes. Uh, Anna asked the question about 24 hour period and when does that start? And I think it mm -hmm. starts at the end of the snow accumulation. Yeah. Um, and then the issue of written notice. Um, oh, yeah. Anna's question was, um, we only provide for a penalty. We don't, the first is not a warning. And I think oh, she was asking right. whether we should write a first offense as a warning um, in. I, I think personally, I'd, I'd leave it like this because what is a first offense? Is it per year? Is it each time? Like, I think it gets confusing, muddied. Yeah. right? It gets muddied. Like in the 22 to 23 snow season, if you get warned in March, when you hit the 23 to 24 snow season, are you back to a first offense warning or not? Like, um, mm -hmm. You know, and so I, I think I'd rather sort of leave it to the discretion instead of writing that in. But yeah, it does seem to me that yeah, the inspector going out there would know whether they had been at the home before the year, even the year before, given the memory of some of the people on the staff. So yeah. I'm comfortable with leaving it as it is. Lynn? Yep. Okay, and we can explain that on Monday. I think that's anything else. Not hearing anything. Not, I, I'm looking at my notes and, you know, did we have to do something further to clarify waste hauler containers? Or did we already do that? It, it says containers for waste hauling collection. I, that's pretty, it seems pretty. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. that's pretty okay. straightforward. The, the only thing I was thinking about maybe adding there is it must be removed from any public way, blah, blah, blah. Uh, by the end of the day of pickup. But I don't think, I mean, because if I'm not, if, if I'm not home until nine o'clock or something on that particular day. Right. As long as I, but we're really trying to keep it um, to the edges of the uh, public way. Yeah. I mean, it says on the day of pickup, so if pickup is at 6 a.m. on Tuesday, you have till 11.59 p.m. by the bylaw to move them. That's true. Lynn, any comment? No, no, no I'm, uh, I'm just looking at Pam's. She, she wanted to define, um, oh. she wanted to define, of this bylaw, vegetation overgrowth is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or hangs down within 10 feet above the sidewalk. It she, isn't just overhanging, it can be pushing out into, well, that's still overhanging if you're a bush and you've grown into outward towards. So she had a suggestion for replacing. Okay. Yeah. And that's fine with me. 
So we want to replace in three, yep. uh, starting with vegetation overgrowth of seven feet or less overhanging the sidewalk shall be considered an obstruction. We want to replace that with, for the purposes of this bylaw, vegetation overgrowth is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or hangs down within 10 feet above the sidewalk. That's better. Um, yes. Yeah. I move that we make that change. Yes. Can you repeat it one more time, Lynn? Yeah. Uh, in place of vegetation overgrowth mm -hmm. of seven feet or less, overhanging the sidewalk shall be considered obstruction. We would, re we would yeah. replace that with vegetation overgrowth is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or hangs down within 10 feet above the sidewalk. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, Lynn, more? I'm, I'm, like looking, I'm looking to see if there's anything more. Um, I lost my place, sorry. Um, Um, structure by law. No, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we pretty much covered this. Um, I think we've covered it. Okay. Unless and we were going to make a change about the issue of warning, or we were going to make a change about waste hauler containers. And we decided not to do those. The only other okay. change was the 10 feet. Yep. All right. And we want hangs down 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Or less over the sidewalk. Okay. Athena, if you want to give me co-hosting, I can pull things up. You can probably do it without co-hosting. You should be able to share screen, but okay, I got it. Go anyway. Yeah. All right. That, uh, you're right. I don't need to co-host. Okay. All right. So um hang 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 on. Vegetation vegetation overgrowth is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone. I think we need to say considered an obstruction shall be considered an obstruction is in the what we've originally proposed. Vegetative overgrowth is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or hangs down within 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. So, so I think the way to make it the sentence vegetative, I think you'd add the phrase that um, that is considered an obstruction is. So vegetative overgrowth that is considered is, an obstruction is vegetation that extends. Okay. Is vegetation that extends into the sidewalk zone or vegetation that hangs down 10 feet or less above the sidewalk? Yes. Is yeah. that acceptable I, to? I like the word overhangs there instead of, but I don't care. That's a, um, well, I mean, if it's 10 feet. So extending into the sidewalk zone is going to be hanging over. So right. I think yeah. you could maybe even just do extends into the sidewalk zone. Um, oh, great. 10 feet or lower above the sidewalk or something like that. Right? Mm hmm I can't, I, this is not a word document, so I really can't do much with it. Yeah, I'm trying to get it into a motion. Vegetation overgrowth extends into the side. I'm sorry, Mandy, extends into the sidewalk zone, or can you repeat that, please? So, yeah, so for the purposes of this bylaw, vegetative overgrowth extending into the sidewalk zone 10 feet or less above the sidewalk shall be considered an obstruction. Yes, that's good. Brian approves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>
crying. <laughs> We're actually taping this, please. <laughs> oh, the public needs to know we're human beings. No, so they you don't. Say that again, Athena. Vegetative overgrowth extending into the sidewalk zone 10 feet or less above the sidewalk shall be considered an obstruction. But I think we also need extends into the sidewalk zone, not above, but you know, to the to the sides as well, to the side and above. No, no. no. you you, you got to separate them. The ten feet is about overhanging. Yeah. No, right. no, anything within the sidewalk zone up to ten feet, right? Whether it's coming from the side or drooping down above that starts twelve feet but droops down, it's all extending into the sidewalk zone. Mm -hmm. And I think we just need that extends into the sidewalk zone. Can we say extending into the sidewalk zone or hangs down and mm. or, or hanging down? Yeah. So or, or hanging down within 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. I think that doesn't. And then it shall. I think we we did it so that it, you can put the shall be considered an obstruction at the end now. Yeah, yeah. Lynn, you're muted. Yeah. Do you want to show what you have, Athena? Yeah, it'd be great. See, you don't guys don't need me as a chair, so I'm going. Oh, please stop this, Pat. No. <laughs> Nobody else in this room can in the committee at this point can share. Oh, wait. I know. I know. Sorry for doing this, but if you look at our original language, if we change the seven to ten and add overhanging or extending into the sidewalk. No. That would make it a lot easier. Yeah. Of course, that of seven feet or less was confusing, right? Athena's going to hate us. So vegetative overgrowth, yeah. overhanging or extending into the side, overhanging the sidewalk or extending into the sidewalk zone. Um, I don't think you need feet there uh, for the extending. It's just extending into the sidewalk zone. Well, 10 feet above, 10 feet or less above the sidewalk shall be considered an obstruction. You have to separate what's extending into the sidewalk from the side right. from 10 feet above. That's Hang right. On. I think I can do it with commas. Hang on. Okay. Well, but the extending into the sidewalk from the side at 11 feet isn't a problem. That's what I'm trying to get at. We want the sidewalks cleared up in a 10 foot box. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if that that ficus bush or whatever is trimmed up to 10 feet at 11 feet, it can go over the sidewalk. We don't care. It just needs trimmed nicely up to 10 feet. It, it, you need vegetative overgrowth overhanging the sidewalk by 10 feet or less. No. <laughs> See, that's where I liked the within 10 feet of above the sidewalk. Or so how do we do this 10 feet? What right? about what about vegetative overgrowth extending into the sidewalk or hanging over hanging um, within 10 feet of the sidewalk? Shall be considered an obstruction. So 
So overhanging the sidewalk or extending into the sidewalk zone 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. I think we just need to move that. Yes. I think we have to keep the 10 feet or less for extending into the sidewalk zone too. Right. But you don't want. You want it to be anything extending into the sidewalk. No, we only up to 10 feet. That's yeah. why we need it for both clauses. No, I mean, if you. You don't usually have a bush that's extending a branch out 10 feet into the sidewalk. Well, but it's it, it's that 10 foot height, right? Yeah, no, I understand that, but. But this means, I think this takes care of the 10 foot height. Yeah. Overhanging 10 feet or less. And it doesn't matter what part of the sidewalk it's overhanging right. or extending, extending into, into the sidewalk. Then why zone. do we need the extending into the sidewalk zone at all? Because that that was the original issue was. It clar I think it clarifies that we're oh. talking about things hanging down. Or How about this? Down. No, extend vegetative overgrowth extending into the sidewalk. Extending or overhang into the sidewalk. Okay. Or overhanging or overhanging the sidewalk 10 feet or less above. You've got too many sidewalks, but <laughs> I mean I think that works as long as people know what we're going for. Right. Yeah, I think, I think the 10 works. feet or less, the confusion there is what does 10 feet or less mean? We're looking for 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. Yeah, I guess you need to say 10 feet or less above the sidewalk. I think the above the sidewalk needs to be there. Mm -hmm. If the branch is 20 feet because it starts 20 feet away, it still counts that part of it that's over the sidewalk. Right. right. <laughs> like, we right. know what someone's saying, but it's a 20 foot branch. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, how are people now with this? I think it works. I I, I agree. I move this and Bandy Joe, are you a second? Oh, oh wait, I was the second, but I think we could make it easier, Athena, if we just <laughs> that that's the entire second sentence. So if we just say recommend the count, town council replace the second sentence in section three with and then just put for the purposes of the bylaws part of the sentence. And then just write the whole sentence. Yeah, and it's, uh, yeah. It just makes it easier, I think. Got it. I'm, I'm good with the second again. Okay. Shall we vote on that, Mandy Joe? Aye. Lynn? You're muted, aye. but yeah, I'm an I. Thank you. So that's uh, three in favor and two absent. That would be the other vote as well. All right, I think we're done with that one. And um, so what we I had said earlier is that we were gonna go to the street light policy. And can you pull that up, Athena? I mean, I have a hard copy here. Most of us do, but we're. Yeah, I'm getting it. And I have question. I have a few questions, um, but I can hold. I'm interested in hearing from you, Lynn and uh, Mandy Joe first. Um, so I'm one of the sponsors. You know, we're yeah. we're talking about clarity, consistency, and actionability. I 
I don't think any of yes. that is a problem. I, I wonder though, the way this is written right now was to track changes to the current policy. Right. Uh, which makes it very, we've got two different colors because two different people have done the changes. One section of it isn't even in track changes because it's completely new. And so it was like, how do you change? So I'm wondering if it would just be easier to recommend a repeal and replace where all of these changes are accepted and the clean version goes into the packet. I mean, we can put this one in so people can see what the changes are, but I wonder if the motion at the council is easier as a repeal and replace. That's, that's gonna make writing the motion easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I can go along with that and the questions I have, I can save for council because they are, there are questions about meaning and stuff like that, and that can all get done. Well, it's, if meaning is clarity, we can answer it. Uh, well, let's see. I mean, one of them is uh, in 4B, um, it's at, uh, where is it? Uh, in the de uh, definitions. Uh, the illumination levels? No, uh, wait a minute. Who determine? Well, I'm trying to see who determines whether the cost is pro prohibitive. Um, maybe I've got that. Yeah, that's in illumination levels on page five, Athena. Yeah, uh, section four. Yeah, if possible and not cost prohibitive. Who's determining whether it's prohibitive or not? What if uh, I think it is and you think it isn't? Uh, is it just up to a committee vote or well, who's making that decision? So the DPW would be making that decision. Okay, do you think that needs to be added? Well, I guess the town manager would be making it. Um, yeah. We could add the phrase if not and not cost prohibitive comma as determined by the town manager or if we wanted the council to make that cost prohibitive determination um, we could do council, we could do JCPC, because that's normally where the costs would come up initially. I think I'd prefer it with the town manager. I mean, it seems more efficient. He, you know, he's really making those kinds of, uh, I don't know. I think, I, I, don't, I don't know. Go ahead, Athena, Athena. I agree that it would probably be a DPW decision. I'd I would be surprised if they're conferring with the town manager when they buy street lights. But, okay, all right. That's but I'm, I'm not sure. We'd have to ask Gilbert or Paul. We could put as determined by the town man, man, manager or designee. Does that resolve it for you, Athena? And I know oh, you're on the committee, but I value your opinion, so. Yeah, it's not up to me to resolve. I'm sure um, that, that would be fine because. That would clarify it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see if there were other. I wondered also in B2, section A, it talks about sensitive uses. Um, and the last sentence is sensitive uses include, uh, are there other besides conservation uh, land that's under conservation restriction? And if there are, should they be listed? Where are you, Pat? I'm on uh, page four, B2, the bottom sentence. It, it uh, talks about sensitive uses. Oh, this one in A. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, A. I apologize. And then I have a question for B, but sensitive uses. In. So are there other uses that should be listed or is We 
could put instead of just include that, um, that's the typical one that's listed in most of these bylaws. Um, yeah. You know, there could be others, but we could say sensitive uses include but are not limited to land subject to conservation restriction. That'd be fine with me, I think. Len, do you have any? No. It just feels like it needs some. That's fine. Yeah. Is there a, all right, then same section, but 2B or not 2B? 2B, gl uh, glare constitutes a hazard or causes intense uh, discomfort. Again, um, how is intense discomfort discomfort by occupants determined? Is by the there... superintendent, the next sentence makes, okay. says who makes the determination. Of whether it's really bothering me. Yeah. It, a whole lot. That's, hmm, okay. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I ju just ask a dip uh, in terms of sky glow? Mm -hmm. Shall no street light shall change the overall brightness or color of the night sky. I, that just seems now. I'll save it because it, it, it it's, night it's sky tough is. To measure. Pardon me. It's tough to measure. Um, yeah, and then Guilford what, yeah. came up with, in, in TSO, Guilford's questions were, well, from what? What's the baseline? Yeah, exactly. Which is, which is why we put that next sentence on. On the board the scale. scale. About what okay. we're aiming for um, as a town, um, because it really is tough to measure, and you'd have to pick a baseline. But really where we are, we want to be lower than where we are now, right? But the baseline can't be no illumination whatsoever. Um, so that's why that next sentence was added that's in underline okay. to try and sort okay. of give an idea of what we're going for. Okay. Okay. Oh, and this is just, this is curiosity. The town shall resume paying for street lights that were limited in 1991. What is that about? Um, Andy can answer that better. This is, this is up at the, um, the, that, that's in the current policy. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. So back in the nineties, I guess there, I, I don't remember this recession, but there must've been a recession in the early nineties or something. Um, and yeah. so the town turned off a whole lot of streetlights as part okay. of its cost That's saving it. measures. And yeah. they were willing to turn them on if the residents paid for them. Mm -hmm. um, and so when the select yeah, okay. adopted this policy, they put that thing in. I don't know. Um, Fine. That's helpful. Thank you. That's an there was a general um, brownout that we were all trying to achieve to save money. It wasn't yeah. just hammers. It was all over the country. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That was the year that they discouraged people from putting up Christmas lights. <laughs> You're not even old enough, Pat. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I, excuse me. I was alive in the 90s. <laughs> But I real I lived in Shelburne Falls when uh, in ninety one. So, so can I just ask what was the vote of TSO on this? Yeah, uh, you l let me check my notes. I'm pretty sure it was unanimous. With was it two absent? Let me see if I can find my notes. So Dorothy was absent. And Shalini was absent. Um, so yeah, it was unanimous with Dorothy and Shalini absent. Shalini had written in um, to the meeting, well, written to the chair who indicated that Shalini supported it. Um, I don't know whether Dorothy specifically said so or not in an email to the chair. I know there was an email to the chair from Dorothy that talked about 
some concerns, but I think the concerns were more, again, dealing with location than this. This really does not deal with location. No, that's the whole point of not. just modifying the, the current right. policy, but we'll do a rescind and replace probably because it's easier is the location is the big issue. And so we're trying to keep that what it is now, what the policy has been for the last 20 years mm -hmm. <laughs> on that and not do that anymore. Okay. okay. So I think this will bring up questions at the council. I just want to mention that I'm going to either be ordering the agenda or reordering it once we set the agenda um, so that certain things come up earlier in the meeting because of availability of counselors who are either traveling or having other issues. Hello, this is Jeff. Jeff? So, <laughs> Sorry, we're both working from home today. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, I move that the street light policy. No, I move to repeal and replace. You're going to recommend the town council repeal and replace. Right. I recommend you have to declare it clear, consistent, and actionable and recommend the motion be right. a repeal and replace. Right. So moved. <laughs> Is there a second? Pat, I'll second gonna, it. <laughs> second, second for Mandy Joe's a sponsor. I'm a sponsor, so. And are we ready to vote on? Do you have that, Athena? Um, I have I have it ish. I'll... Okay. Ish is good. Um, let's um I'm an I, Lynn Griesmer. I. Mandy Joe Haneke. I. All right, it's mo so moved three in favor, two absent. Okay. Um, and, and I'm gonna add into that recommendation that the changes that the committee oh, has okay. agreed to. So by adding as determined by the town manager or their designee and sensitive uses include, but are not limited to. Um, okay, thank you. I agree and to then, that. And then TSO also uh, recommended um, that the policy be effective September 1 for all new and replacement streetlights and for existing streetlights installed prior to September 1, full compliance no later than September 1, mm -hmm. 2033. Do you want to add that into the GOL motion or do you want to just um, leave that as a separate right. recommendation from TSO? I, I think it's fine to add in. We could just say with effective dates per TSO's recommendation. Sounds good. Does a repeal and replace create problems with the effective dates? Oh. Probably not. Well, it'll be voted on either on Monday or the final meeting in July. Is that not time enough for a change to September? No, I think it's fine. It's just you know, I, I never mind. I think I, I think I'm overthinking it. It should be fine. Okay, I think it will be fine. Does this does this have a does this have a a number? No, it's just, just a, it's policy. a policy. It's not it's a policy. policy. Got it. It's a policy by the keeper of the public way. Got it. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Yeah. Why don't, um, Athena, do you have the motion completely settled? Yeah. I need to add in the, the two changes that um, that were in there. You've already voted, so as long as you're okay with my adding those two things, then I think we're okay. I feel comfortable. I'm fine. Okay, shall we move forward? 
Yes. Okay, then what I have us doing is looking at uh, proposed changes to the town council policy regarding the control and regulation of the public ways. Um, we have had some input from the uh, town attorney and we've also had um, on parades and public meetings, we have that feedback from the attorney. And I pulled, I also included the flag policy uh, and I believe all the changes were made to that and voted on. And so what, what I'm also wondering is how ready is this, depending on what we do today to come forward to the council because we were trying to include everything in a single vote or not a vote but a single meeting yeah i i really again would like to urge that the flag policy the banner is the public way the banner issue etc all come as one package yeah okay so you but um the the changes to the public way are somewhat about flags and banners. So, yeah. Okay, Do you, which one are, so we were waiting on flags we were fine with, but we wanted to see the banner issue with the public way, which it sounds like KP it has gotten us to. Yeah. And then I had actually, because of the parades and all issue, I attempted to, add some of that into um, the, the policy, which I'm not sure KP law has seen, but I'm not sure that's uh, a problem. Okay. Um, those are highlighted. Um, yes. There's there's mainly two sections there. That was a goal of being able to then rescind the parades and whatever it was called, bylaw. Parades and public meetings. Three meetings bylaw. We were thinking of rescinding that if we just covered it all in public ways in our That's policy. Right. Um, and it seems to me that the primary issues are very similar, you know, impact on First Amendment rights and what we are limited to, which is time, place, and manner. Um, So, so um, Mandy, did you integrate? I think you did. If I so, I didn't have KP Law's comments, so they're not integrated into what I sent. Okay. Um, so maybe it would be easier looking at KP Law's comments. Um, it would be easier to pull up her comments and integrate what I did into that document. Okay. And I can work on integrating it if you want me to just pull it up. It won't take me too long. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, um, let me pull it up and then I'll integrate as we talk. Okay. You'll have to bear with me um, uh, with a, mo a, a small share screen while I integrate. So just bear with fine. me. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can... Yeah, I get my eyes examined in July. I'll, I'll make it big soon enough. I know. Relax. I'm going to go. I'll be right back. I'm just going to put some cream on my ear. Mandy Joe. Why are we adding in the Board of License Commissioners? In? Because we we have delegated something to them. Right. In this policy already. Can we change that spacing? Oh, give me a second. Let me just type it first. Yeah, don't worry about that yet.
ですね。Okay, this is one of the first ones, so we can talk about this one, and I'll go add the other one in when we get okay. there. I'm just fixing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, yeah, that's it. The red is added because we delegated lunch cart reservations right. to the board, so I figured the update should be that we yeah, I like that update. I think it's important. Yeah, it's, it's just keeping everything updated there. Um, and then the other one was sort of the pooling of what happens when there's a conflict in, from the parades and public meetings bylaw. Um, we never dealt with conflicts in this. And so I pulled some of that language from that bylaw into this sort of general over that says, hey, if there's conflicts, you try to accommodate both. And if not, the council, the the request comes to the council if there can't be accommodating of both. That was the goal of this one. Yeah. In terms of the parades and all. Yeah. Oh, Hey, I'm so I'm good so far. Yeah. So I think Lauren just changed all the language from what I had written, what we'd originally adopted to more legalese. Yes, she did. Most of this is what it looks like. In B, there is a two X's. Yeah. Yeah. We have to decide the number of spots. I think it used to be like four. Um, so so let's see how she rewrote this. I had originally drafted it as a total spots throughout town which we had determined was probably more like eight, right? When was that, Mandy? Oh, at the very when we beginning. we last talked about this. Yeah, eight. it was back in our first term. Yeah, okay. No, this was, this section is new. This is the new section on sidewalk dining. Oh. So you were trying to add in the number of parking spaces that are currently being used yeah. and limiting it to that number of spaces. But it's we didn't have town. Number. Right. So we could say, I, I think we determined there were like eight spots eight, used eight, right eight, now. Eight's, yeah, eight's fine with me. Throughout town, we only have eight spots that are being well, we used. We have like three because there's dining in several different places, and it seems to me that's more than eight spots. I could be on there's Fresh Guide, there's Amherst Coffee, there's um, on um, Pleasant Street, you know, um, several different restaurants there. Yeah, I was thinking there were four of these parklets, dining parklets, yeah. and each one took up two spots because most of where they are are parallel parking, not back in parking. And so I think they only take up two spots each. But isn't, that doesn't, it does seem, you're right about the parklets, but do all, I'm trying to think of where all the parklets are now. Amherst Coffee, which I think is only two spots. That's two. And the front side. Fresh side. That's, that's two. I think that's two. There's one near Antonio's. That's what I'm, yeah. 
I can't think of which restaurant it is, but. And that's so, a parklet. I think it's outdoor dining. Oh, it's in front of like uh, Bistro 63 or something. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. think. It was, I think that's only two. Let's put the number in as eight now and then check with Paul. Okay. Okay. Wait. So I think some of this we can clean up because it's not current language. Um, so I'll do that later. Okay. Once I figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then, okay. So that was, we're, we're down to here, mm -hmm. lunch carts, it looks like it was just, language again. This one, the only other change. That was the only other change I pro proposed because yeah, of you the need one space there. Always, I got yeah. sales and parade. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to add public meetings, which are different than block parties? Because there wasn't the, really a definition of public meetings. Yeah. Bylaw. It's in the. It is in the title of the bylaw. Yeah, but. But beyond that, there wasn't really a definition. I would not just. Put, I wouldn't say Halloween strolls. I would just say strolls. Because we did that Christmas stro stroll. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, celebrations. Yeah. Okay. So this do, one, oh, Athena? Do you, do you need to give the town manager authority to adopt regulations? Because I think the way it's written now, he, I don't know oh. if he has a right to say no to anybody for any of the requests. Well, he gets to review and act on. But I think the criteria that Paul uses now is just if there's right. nothing else going on. The town council delegates to the town manager authority to review and act on. Right. So that's, I think that's just approval. But if there's no mm -hmm. mechanism for the town manager to say no to anybody, then it's, it's not government speech to do any of those things. It's it's oh, yeah. the yeah, public yeah. the public right to use the public way. Mandy, maybe you read that differently than I do, but are, are you just talking about the short term closures or this whole thing? Um, the sh right now we're looking right now. Well, using using any delegation to the town manager for using public ways, so that would be the common too. Yeah. So I think. Right, the common, according to what Lauren said, we basically can't refuse the common, right? That was in the parades and, and public meetings right. bylaw review. Unless yeah, we can there's only... a conflict, you can't really say no, no matter how awful they are. Right. West Brookfield or East Brookfield just ran into right. that problem. Right. Um because the common's the common. Right, and there there is this thing about 75 people or less that I have questions about. Um, 
which I didn't translate over to this yeah. uses, right? Um, you know, because anyone can, in some sense, set up on the common and do what they want if they don't want to reserve it, right? You can just yeah, well, it, up and it, yeah. do that all the time without reservation. I mean, even before I lived in Amherst, there were times I came to the common to protest something that was happening. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know whether the people had gotten a permit to protest on the common. I somehow rather doubt it. Um, I, yeah, and people who, you know, small uh, gatherings of folks um, for different reasons happens, um, maybe scheduled by the people, but seems spontaneous on the common. So I, I think we need to be very careful. Um, yeah. In terms of limiting. Yeah I, yeah, I did add the alternate location. And then if there's right. a conflict, bring it to the council. Um, right. And then the policy always has the ability for them to bring it to the council anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's reserved somewhere um, later. I think we said, um, I think our biggest question was the signage that I attempted to add in at some point that should be here somewhere. Yes, this banners. I'm curious what she said about that. Yeah, here we go. So it still allows, so if there's any reservation on the common at all, then that person who's reserving on the common can also request a banner and the town manager would be compelled to say yes. If he's saying yes to yes. one, then he would say yes to the other. Yeah. Yes. So and so the question is, do we want to remove that? I mean, it sounds like at least for this, Lauren was okay with how it's written and the questions we had were there's so many things that go on on that banner right the Juneteenth celebration was just on a banner the the league book sale goes on a banner those aren't some of those aren't even on the common yet do we want to have to see them We de I, I definitely think we want to be able to allow for them to advertise. So the question is, do those come right now? They've never come to the council at all. DPW just creates their reservation and it's a first come first serve. But, you know, some of it's advertising, some of it's not. Do we care who gets to advertise no matter what the event or do we want to say all of those banners are government speech? And so I think we need to say there. Keeps it. I'm sorry, Mandy. I so, think so that the council keeps it. Yeah. I think it has to be government speech because I really, you know, of a an organization that I, is really despicable reserves the common, and they have the right to do that. I don't particularly want their banner floating across the town, one of the main streets in town. Um, but I don't know how whether we would have to or not. Um, but if if we're determining go it's government speech and we have approve on a regular basis, holidays, you know, uh, events in town, welcoming students, that's one thing. But I think it has to be government speech. So I think if we delete this sentence here about events, you know, banners that advertise events on the common that have a reservation, we 
it just means the council is going to get more and more banner requests. Yeah. Which we might be able to generally just put on consent, right? Um, but we're going to have to get all the banner requests that are not flags of these items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So I have a, I have a couple of questions. The welcome seasonal cheer banners. Hang on, Mandy. What were you going to say, Lynn? Um, under the flags and banners of the United States, Massachusetts, Amherst, <laughs> does that include all of town government and the elementary school? So, so I had the regional schools. Yeah, but does, and what about the library? I mean, is the library and elementary school under the town of Amherst? They are in our budget. Does the library have its separate flag? Does the elementary school have a separate or flag? Banner. Or a or banner. Or ban banner. I mean, they might. They might create a separate banner. Hi. Um, so I, I can add the elementary schools and Jones Library in. I don't see the point of adding Jones Library. but I, I think if you just say town of Amherst with the assumption that anything that is approved as part of the town of Amherst budget yeah. is under this. Yep. And then yeah, so above, can I just suggest that you just call it the Amherst Business District, not the Amherst Business? They, that's actually an agency. Um, I mean, unless that's an identified governmental Amherst where am I? On the one right above where it says Amherst Business Improvement oh, District. Um, so, so that is a specific. So I was trying to figure out a way to, to do the, the banners. Like how do we, how do we talk about the banners within the downtown? Right. And see, when you say business, that's the bid. Right. Right. But they have a specific district. As there's, defined, there's like a league as defined legally. Is it a legal definition by state? By, by their town? charter that then went through like acceptance and all and, and I don't know how it works. I can try and look it up quickly. Uh, don't worry about it now. Just I just wanted... I mean the, the bids the the bid each a business improvement district um, is established through state law. Okay, if that's the case, then all I'm fine. sorts of things. Yeah, I'm fine then. I will say that there's also been discussion about the flags up at North Common, but I think they're all on private property. North meaning North Common, the North. I'm sorry, Mill Mill District. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, that is all private property. Yeah, okay. Are you sure? I think we want to ask the town manager whether he wants a policy here. Well, so the problem was when we do the flag policy, that policy only covered... I mean, we'd have to pull it up, right? But it only covered the town common flagpoles. That's right. That's right. And the banners and flag. Uh, this is supposed to be. And, and we were attempting. Yeah, we were attempting to cover the rest of the stuff with this to include that as government speech. Right. I got it. Okay. It's tricky. So we, oh. uh, okay. I just wanted to be able to read it easier. Yeah. Do we want to say the Amherst Business Improvement District as defined by mass, whatever it is defined by?
No, I, I'm fine as long as we have, you know, there's. Okay. okay. I, I just want to make sure that we're using a, not an organization, but a state right. defined mm -hmm. district. Yeah, I mean, it's a state, my understanding of in business improvement districts in the state is that there's a state method you go through, like to define it and then get buy-in. And as long as so many property owners within that defined district said yes, then everyone's bound to pay the dues and this and that under state law. So there had to be like a defined, here are the properties that would be in it. And then they had to do like some sort of like petition essentially of those property owners. And once they had a certain percentage of that, the district was created by those properties. So let me ask this, in re with regard to our downtown business district, are the properties along, um, oh God, where is that? What street is that? Um, what are you thinking of when what place? Over where? The spoke to is going. Um, leads into the tra the other one that leads into the traffic circle where the bank the bank of the part of it according to this map. Okay, the All map right. is a very stylized map, but I can put it up. Well, some of it is so. That's fine. <laughs> I, I I just no, it's worth looking at, Lynn. Don't. It's a very stylized map, yeah. but. Okay, Milton. so basically it shows that the first three properties right there. So this is this is cottage. So yeah. the two plus the, the medical offices on cottage, everything right. off this of triangle. Prior. Yeah. Because this is triangle. Okay. And that section. And it goes down to the inn at Boltwood. Yeah, and the common and all. And then over here, it does not go all the way down to, um, yeah, got it. All right. We that's the map that they gave me. I don't know whether that's the true <laughs> boundaries, right? That's right. what's on, on their website. <laughs> sometime we may have to add village centers. Yeah. Yes, because oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a big push, for instance, to develop the East Village Center. Yeah, as as we get banners in those areas, right now I'm not sure there's banners that go there. We can no. add more sections to the banners. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I think I think we're done with E. So F is and everything else was just Oh, that's right. This is where we get rid of the temporary. Then, right. We're getting rid of the temporary. Why did she change? Oh, she changed it to retains, not remains. Okay. Yeah, retains yeah. the authority. She changed everywhere. Um, oh, so we should put in instead of the town manager. We could put in the whole thing. What's what's the phrasing we used up here? So it's not just the manager that re return retains. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Yeah. Then that there's why do we have shall be authorized? Their sole discretion to decline a diagnosis. Okay. 
So basically, this is the part that Athena was talking about of like, does the manager have a right to say no, in a sense, right? If the manager is uncomfortable, or if the board of license commissioners is uncomfortable, or if DPW is uncomfortable, they can always say, I'm not touching this. You have two theirs. Yeah, yeah, you have two, you have two theirs. To get rid of the one. That work. Yeah, now it yeah, works. This, that's the the language that allows them to say, I'm not touching this one with a 10 foot pole. At right. that point, the they council. bring it to the council. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and we have and we to panic. <laughs> and we say, oh my. Okay. We have a I little work to do, yeah. So is this going to be, I think this is just an amend. I mean, this is a complicated amend, but it's an amend. Yeah. Okay. So are we going to try to do the other two? I have a really hard stop at 1130. What time is it now? Um, 1042. Quarter to 11. Yeah. So are we going to move that we oh. recommend to the town council the amendments to the public way to the recommend the town council adopt the amendments to the public to the way. town council policy regarding control and regulation of the public ways as presented as as discussed at the June 21 GL meeting, right? Yes, I make that motion. Second, DeAngelis. Okay, shall we vote on that? Yes. And? I'm an I. Lynn? I. And I'm an I. So I think then we need to go back to the flags and the parades and public meetings. Yeah. Parades you were just going to rescind, right? Yeah, so I can make that motion. I move to recommend the town council rescind general bylaw 3.35 parades and public meetings. Second. And let's vote on that. Lynn? Aye. Andy? Aye. And I'm an aye. And so now we're back to flag policy. Yeah. Flag policy. I think I I hope people realize we are going to have a very long meeting on Monday night. No. Yeah. yeah. That's just life. So better Monday than the 17th. I agree with that. <laughs> Although, Lynn, you might want to um, do a first read of the bylaw rescission and flag policy and revisions to the public way policy on the 26th and then on the 17th, do them all together, approve them all together. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That sounds, like, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, it really does. The, the two things that I think we're going to need move to the to, uh, toward the top of the actions one is the councilor salaries the other ones is uh, street lights mandy are you bringing up the flag policy or should i i i'm hunting it because it, it doesn't seem to be in today's packet yes i apologize for that so i don't know I thought where, i put it in but where the most recent one is <laughs> oh wait i think i got it no, that's the memo. No, that might be the base of the, the memo. memo. Yeah, no, it's I, I got it. If you got it, send me a copy of yeah, it, it, this is the one I have that's um yeah, it is part of the memo. That's why it's hard to right. So it's part of the memo. I think those are the proposed changes we had. Mm-hmm. And I remember Andy had a Tibet question, but I think that got answered. Yep. 
And then effect on passage, we wanted to make sure the public ways included everything on that. So we covered that. So I think we would be, I'll, I'll try to make the motion. Okay. Um, I move to recommend the town council adopt the flag raising policy as um, shown in the document memo to town council flag raising policy 426 2023 GOL questions and proposed edits. Second. Yeah. All right, let's vote on that. I'm an I. Mandy? I. Lynn? I. And so let me just, on all of the things we voted on today, even though it's unanimous, I'm not going to put them on consent. No, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there's, there, there wouldn't be a consent anyway, because we're going to do a first read, so. Yeah. If there's a first read on all of them, they might be able to go on consent after the first read. Yeah. Because you'll get an idea where people are. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take a breath. Yeah. That's the agenda. Other than public. Yeah, comment. well, public comment. So at this point in the meeting, I am going to uh, call for public comment. But seeing no one in attendance, um, I am going to terminate public comment. And I'm going to make the suggestion that the meeting is adjourned. Oh, hang on, Pat. Did you, yep. did you want to talk about the next GOL meeting? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Athena. The next meeting is scheduled for July 5th. Okay. And I, yeah, so I was wondering if people wanted to uh, cancel that meeting. Now, let me just, let's just talk about what we're trying to do, okay? We, we said that we were going to try to get the rules of procedure done for mm -hmm. either July or August. Right. And the bylaws done for either July or August. I think we have two meetings in August, am I right, or... Or do we it's, have one? what is our second meeting in July? Is it the nineteenth? It's, it's all we only have the seventeenth. Oh, yeah, council right. Only That's has council. Our next oh, GOL sorry. meeting is the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. And so maybe, if we're going to bring either of those forward for the seventeenth, we're going to have to meet on the fifth. Yeah, or the twelfth. If we don't want to do the fifth, we could pop it to the twelfth. Let me. Potentially. Yeah. I could do the 12th. I'm looking now. Uh, I could do the 12th. I'd have to reschedule a PT appointment, but I can do that. All right. So let's I'll be out of town, but I can get somebody else to run your meeting. Okay. Thank you. Asim. So we're going to move July 5th to the 12th, and we need to make sure we let Jennifer and Michelle yeah, know. I'll do that. Um, Okay, and then shall we not meet on the nineteenth, or I just been trying. To I think we out. need to. I, I, think I think we meet just in case we get items back on the seventeenth. Okay, got yeah, it. I, yeah, right. I I don't. I'm I'm trying to figure out. I think we have like to meet not, on the twelfth yeah. and the nineteenth. We would have the second before the next council meeting, but depending on what we're doing. Right. And I guess here's my question. Are we just talking about six point uh, rules of, of conduct? Um, or are we talking about all of the rules and procedures? All of them. All of them. Okay. Because there were a number of others that were. Yeah, yeah. That, we're going to try to plow through the whole thing. All right. And I think that should take, we should start that in July because the bylaws, I hate to say this. <laughs> They're not ready. They have to. They're not ready, but. Okay. And then um, when are we meeting in August? Uh, let me look. I have the 2nd and the 16th. Yeah. I have August 7th. And the 30th. Oh, no, that's town council. I'm sorry. I have 2, 16, and 30 
in August. So in our meeting uh, in August is on the 21st. So and, we're going to probably have seventh. to read those two. No, and the seventh we're, potentially. We're, we're not. We're not going to do the seventh. No matter how backed up we are, Lynn. The town staff would really like not to have a meeting. So I'm just going to say I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that with zoning bylaws, depending on when they get done, in terms of meeting 90 day requirements. Okay. And are we talking about August seventh here? Or I got a little confused there. August 7th is an optional council meeting. Yeah. But most likely will happen. Uh, well, if it has her way, it won't. But if we're going, if, if you're already saying this Monday's meeting's insanely long, there's only one other in July. That's right. Our committees are, rental registration hopefully will be done by then. Like, we're going to be potentially backing stuff up even more if we don't. Before you cancel it, I would just wait to see what committees get done. Okay. Athena, we'll discuss what you're able to cover or not cover. I'm not going to be here for the seventh. Right. Um, and Paul is out of town as well. So that will be a Oh. I know you all thought it was just me, but it's not. It's on the calendar as a meeting, though. It's, it's, an, a, it's, it's a, an if needed. It's an if needed. No, I know that. But we're talking about two rather important people not being able to no, be I know. Paul and Athena and Lynn. Who snakes I'm, I'm available. Yeah, I hear that. I know that. But um, I, I just worry that if it gets canceled. Is it too can I uh, is it too late to um, put in that a meeting, an optional meeting of the council on the 14th of August? I, I will say I'm planning my vacation around the 7th and the 21st because that's the scheduled meetings yeah, yeah. right like so i i'm set to leave on vacation on the 8th and come back for the 21st mm. right like and i wouldn't be surprised if other counselors have planned the same in terms right, of but i'm meetings. assuming paul and athena are both also going to be on vacation yeah so whose vacation is the most no, I, I, i'm just saying like when the meeting schedule gets published people plan it around it yeah no i know that but well I don't think we should ever use the word optional again. <laughs> no. I'm I'm trying okay. to provide staff with more of a relaxed summer, but obviously it's not working. Yeah. Yeah. You did that in the spring with pushing everything off, Lynn. <laughs> I didn't push it off. It wasn't ready. I know yeah. that wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's. Uh, the reason I'm saying let's not have them optional is because Athena and Paul probably wouldn't have scheduled their vacation right there. Um, so um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the solution is. Obviously, you and the group have to talk. I well, just I need to get a sense of what's coming up. Right. And, and it's hard, I, at least as chair of CRC, it's hard to even know when things will finish. Right. Um, but with zoning, there's a there's a there's a time limit to vote. Mm -hmm. And that always worries me if we're canceling meetings and not having meetings for an entire month when there's time limits to vote. Mm -hmm. And so the the time limit would be on duplex triplex. Yeah, but it depends on when the hearing closes. So I won't know the time limit until we close the hearing and then we have 90 days to vote. And it has to go to GOL before it comes to the council and it has to have two readings and it has to wait 21 days between when the there's all sorts of time limits and you don't know any of that until things start closing. And and right now it's not been closed in by in either in other in either committee. By planning, right. Okay. So 
And we're going to try to get it closed. If it's closed today and tomorrow, we're looking at a September, June, July, August, September 20th or something deadline to vote. So we could bring it up in August, the end of August. The August. Potentially, I'd have to look at the schedule to see. Okay. We run into, of course, counselor right to postpones and you know all sorts of things need to come into alignment. So um, right. once the hearings are closed, I have a better idea as chair as to the timing that needs to happen at the council. Okay, got it. Um, all right. Well, so I... I think what we agreed on is that we're meeting on July 12th and not the 5th. Yes. And that we are meeting notify. on August 2nd and the 16th. Yes. Yeah. And July 19, we have a meeting scheduled. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. That hasn't changed. And right. so what we want to do is to the extent possible, clean up anything on the 19th and start plowing into the finalizing the bylaws. Okay. So that I'm, we're bringing bylaws forward on the 21st of August. I thought we were doing the rules. Six, I mean, 20th. Over the summer. We're, we're doing, we're going to try to do rules at the meeting on July 17th. Okay. So the 5th and so the 12th, is our only date where we're going to try and get through all the rules? Yeah. The 5th and the 12th. Makes... We just canceled the 5th. Yeah, we canceled the 5th. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the 12th is the date that we're going to try to get through the rules. The 17th is the date they'll come to the council. The 19th is the date that we'll clean up any on the rules and begin on the bylaws. Okay. And then we have two more meetings, the 2nd and the 16th for bylaws before it comes to the council on the 21st. The real issue is whether or not all the other people that need to do work will have done it. Right. Um, one second, sorry. All right. Uh, is, are everybody, is everybody clear about that? Yes, I just think it's important to check with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Carl no, and, and yeah, no, I'll send that out after the meeting. And it is now 1058. Uh, yeah. Pat, I'm going to suggest that you put rules and bylaws on the next oh, yes, so that three or if, four agendas so that if bylaws, we don't have things back from the thing, the people that we need them back from, the committee can do what it can on rules. Okay, that makes the sense. The other thing is, I would put the. Um, uh, the three things that we're going to do first readings on, on the July 12th agenda, on mm -hmm. case we have to clean up stuff for the July 17th meeting. Okay, I want to go over this a little bit, Town Council 17 and clean up 19. Um, I thought we were going to look at the bylaws. Uh, we're going to put, I hear what uh, Athena is saying about putting both the rules and bylaws on the uh, agendas. On the 12th. Yeah, on the, the 12th. And the 19th. Yes, that's right. And, but we're not really, most likely we're not going to really look at the bylaws until August. Is that correct? That's the that's the council meeting I'm targeting them for is August 21st. August 21st is the council meeting you'd like the bylaws at. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that would be presented in whatever state that they're in, ones that we are repealing, amending, or have not been. Okay. Right. All right. And so that, and we have two meetings before the 21st in August to work on those. Right. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'm going to suggest about, um, I, I know that I have old material um, on the rules and procedure, but if there's anything new that people just send that to me. Um, the only thing new was something Michelle at one point was going to work up and I don't know if she intends to do it or not anymore. Right. And then also, uh, I guess that, yeah, that's the only thing. All right. 
Well, then, I, Lynn, can I have half a second with you after adjournment, like literally just a minute? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to, uh, seeing that we've gotten through uh, the business, there's no uh, unanticipated items. I'm going to suggest that we adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Thank you. And uh, Lynn, if you could stay on for just yep. a minute, that'd be helpful. Okay. And 